there. My name's Sally. You might know my big brother, Charlie Brown. He's, um, well, he's him. Anyway, I love when we have company, but it's super important that we talk about the house rules before we begin. First, just like my Aunt Edna used to say, always have an escape plan. So please, make notice of all exits both at the front and the sides of the auditorium. Rule number two might sound rude, like my friend Linus's older sister Lucy, but it's a must. No talking during the performance, please. Oh, and no flash photography, because if Schroeder even thinks he's being recorded or photographed at the piano, he'll freak out. I'm already worried about his possible unhealthy obsession with Ludwig von Beethoven. Finally, please remember to silence or turn off your cell phones and devices. I've adopted a few new philosophies lately, and less screen time is definitely one of them. Oh wait, my dog Snoopy would like to translate that for any pets in the audience. <coughs> And for any grown-ups, I think this might do. Okay then, let's get the show on the road. The Lights Up Drama Club of Wilbur Cross High School proudly presents You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. And remember, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. <laughs> anything to worry about, Charlie Brown. After all, science has shown that a person's character isn't fully established until he's at least five years old. But I am five. I'm more than five. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. The only thing wrong with my big brother, Charlie Brown, is his lack of confidence. His inferiority and his lack of confidence. His clumsiness, his inferiority, and his lack of confidence. His stupidity, his clumsiness, his inferiority, and his lack of confidence. That's four. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. You're the kind of you want to be. Did you know that Charlie Brown has never pitched a winning baseball game, never been able to keep a kite in the air, and never successfully put in a football, and never won a game of checkers? Sometimes I marvel at his consistency. Here comes Lucy, oh Lucy, and the sense of honor that is very rare indeed. I think Charlie Brown has nice hands. It truly is a dog's life, but with many challenges. You try getting excited when that round-headed kid comes home from school. You're a prince, and a prince could be king. Now, Linus, I want you to take a good look at Charlie Brown's face. Would you please hold still a minute, Charlie Brown? I want Linus to study your face. Now, this is what you call a failure face. Notice how it has failure written all over it? Study it carefully. You rarely see such a good example. Notice the deep lines, the dull, vacant look in his eyes. Yes, this is the finest example of failure face you're liable to see in a very long while. You're a good man. You're a good man. Some days I wake up early to watch the sunrise and I think how beautiful it is and how my life lies before me. And I get a very positive feeling about things. Like this morning, for instance. The sky so clear and the sun so bright. How could anything go wrong on a day like this? I'm late! <laughs>
Psychiatrists say that people who eat peanut butter sandwiches are lonely. I guess they're right. But when you're really lonely, the peanut butter sticks to the roof of your mouth. 
Boy, the PT sure did a good job moving these benches. There's that cute little redhead girl over there eating him lunch. I wonder what she would do if I went over there and asked if I could sit and have lunch with her. She'd probably just laugh right in my face. It's hard on the face when he gets laughed in. There's, just, there's an empty place next to her on the bench. There's no reason why I can't just get up and go over there. Yeah, I can do that right now. All I have to do is stand up. I'm standing up. I'm sitting down. I'm a coward. I'm so much of a coward, she wouldn't even think of looking at me. She hardly ever does look at me. In fact, I can't remember her ever looking at me. Why doesn't she look at me? Is there any reason in the world why she shouldn't look at me? Is she so great, and I'm so small, she gave me spare one little moment to? She's looking at me! She's looking at me. No, Sally, you're thinking of the other dress, the one that I wore at Lucinda's party. The one that I'm talking about is the light blue one with the design I wrote it around the I don't remember it. Well, it was something like this. It had a skirt that went out like this, and puffy sleeves like that, and a slash like this. Tell me, I remember that. Well, that was the dress that I was wearing when I met Frida, and she told me that she had seen one just right over at me. This is the worst time of the day for me. That little redhead girl is looking at me with this stupid bag on my head. She must think I'm the biggest fool alive. But if she isn't looking at me, then maybe I can take it out quickly and she'll never notice. But I can't tell if she's looking or not until I take it off. And then again, if I never take it off, I'll never have to know if she's looking. But on the other hand, it's getting very hard to breathe in here. She's not looking at me. I wonder why she never looks at me. Oh well. One more lunch hour with. Only 2,863 to go. All I need is one more try. Gotta get that high to fly. And I'm not that kind of guy. Gives up easily.
My Aunt Marion was right. Never try to discuss marriage with a musician. It's a fleeting thing, Sally, but I think a person can come closer to it by directing the forces of his life to a single goal that he believes in. And I also think that a person's personal search for happiness isn't such a selfish thing either, because by achieving happiness themselves, they can help others to achieve it too. Does that make sense to you? We had spaghetti at our house three times this week. <laughs> You know, a princess sort of thing. A big ballroom, a white dress, nice slippers. But isn't that kind of silly, Charlie Brown? Oh, no, not at all. I mean, we all have our little daydreams or ambitions or whatever you want to call them. I mean, I had one myself for years. I mean, I never told anyone. What? You can tell me. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's not the sort of thing I should tell. Yeah, I should. Come on, Charlie Brown, please! I won't tell anyone, please! Well, I always wanted to be called Flash! <laughs> I hate the name Charlie. I like to be real athletic that everyone will call me Flash! Not like to be so good at everything that all around the school I'll be known as Flash! What's the matter, Sally? I don't know. I was jumping rope, and everything was fine. And then suddenly, it all seemed so futile. Beethoven used to be fond of taking walks in the country. He was always inspired with the beautiful sounds of the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> hey Snoopy, we're home from school. Gosh, Bella, isn't it good to see you? Oh, Snoopy, you're so adorable. Hey Snoopy, come off that doghouse. I'll be out later with your supper. I think Snoopy's such a wonderful dog. Me too. He's just about the best there is. They like me. I think they're swell. Isn't it remarkable how things turn out so well? Sky, life goes on. Here I lie, not bad, not bad at all. Cozy home, board and bed, sturdy roof. My head, not bad, not bad at all. Always near me, and bones scratch my ear. Little birds come to cheer me every day. Sitting here on my stomach, the sharp little claws, which are usually cold and occasionally painful. Sometimes there are so many. I can hardly stand it. Let's! Oh. 
I feel every now and then that I gotta play with one. I know every now and then what I wanna be. But here's the land of the crap on the land of a tree. La 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 You know, the never reels are so far down to the ground from up here. <sighs> Let me see. Where was I? Oh, that's right. Pretty sky, not bad, not bad at all. Comes he home, bored and bad, sturdy My head, not bad, not bad at all. to that little red hat girl and introduce myself. No. I think I'll introduce myself and then I think I'll ask her to come sit next to me. I think I'll ask her to come sit by me and then I think I'll tell her how I always admired her. I think I'll fly my arms and fly to the moon. Yesterday I was a dog. Today I am a dog. Tomorrow will I still be a dog? There's just so little hope of advancement. <laughs> Today is April Fool's Day turn around, and I think I'll play a little trick. I think I'll try a little trick. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? You understand that it's April Fool's Day? I want to be certain you understand. Okay. Hey, Charlie Brown. That little red girl over there will think of your big hug and a kiss! Really? Wow, this is fantastic! April Fools! Just like shooting a fish in a barrel. <laughs> And you, the dog, will retrieve it. I, the dog, could not be less interested. I got it! I got it! Playing with the past. Really? 
Certainly. And this is good, for it helps these men cope with their everyday problems. Now, I feel it's going to be absolutely necessary for me to get my blanket back. So I'm just going to give it a good... Yay! Hey! <sighs> it's surprising what you can accomplish with some smooth talking and some fast action. Got you back again.
pretend to be queen. When I grow up, I'll be the biggest queen there ever was. And I'll have a big, big palace with beautiful dresses to wear and a big front lawn. And when all the people see me, they will believe I will. Oh, Lucy, I believe queen is an inherited title. Yes, I do believe a person can only become queen. If they're born into a royal family of the correct lineage, so that that person can assume the throne after the death of the reigning monarch. I can't think of any possible way you could ever become queen. And in the summertime, I'll go to my summer palace, and I'll wear my crown and string, and all the people will cheer, and I will shout at them. I can be queen. It's true. There has to be a loophole. This sort of thing always has a loophole. No one should be kept from being queen if one wants to be one. It's undemocratic. Good. I know that. If I can't be queen, I'll become very rich. I will work and work until I'm very rich and I will buy myself a queendom. Oh, good. I'll take out you. the old queen and take over the whole operation myself. And I will be head of evil. To your queendom. Oh, I've given that up. I've decided to dedicate my life to cultivating my natural beauty. Now switch channels! Are you kidding? I'm not one of your royal subjects. What makes you think you can just walk in and take over? These five fingers. Individually, they're nothing. But when I curl them together into a single unit, it becomes a terrible force that's terrible to behold. Yes, Your Majesty. Supper time! Not yet! Supper time! Not yet! <laughs> Sculpture. May I ask a question? Was I being judged of the sculpture itself? If so, is it not true that time alone can judge a work of art? Or was I being judged on my talent? If so, is it fair that I be judged on the part of my life over which I have no control? If I was judged on my effort, then I would judge it unfairly for my friend as much as I could. Perhaps I was being judged on what I've learned about this project. If so, then we're not you, my teacher. Also, being judged on your ability to transmit your knowledge to me. Are you going to share my seat? Perhaps I was being judged on the quality of coat hangers out of which my creation is made. Now is that not also unfair? Am I to be judged on the quality of coat hangers that are used at the drafting establishment? that returns our garments? Is it not the responsibility of my parents? Should they not share my seed? Thank you, Miss Osmar. This squeaky wheel gets the grease. <laughs> More speed, and more rope, and more wind, and more hope. Gotta get this stupid kite to fly. Gotta be sure it doesn't snag, doesn't droop, doesn't drag. Gotta watch out for wrecking little whoops. Less speed, and more top, less rise, and more slack. Gotta keep my wits about me now. Gotta make sure it doesn't get the best of me till I give in the air somehow. Millions of little kids do it every day. They make the kind of stupid in the sky. Leave it to me to have one full kite. Who likes to see a little kid cry? Less talk, more skill, less luck, more will. Try to face this guy. 
high. Now that I see you chasing wolves, climbing trees, digging holes, put your string on everything passing by. Why not? Why What's it doing? It isn't on the ground. It isn't a tree. It's in the air. Past the trees now, with room to spare. Oh, what a beautiful sight! And I'm not such a clumsy guy. If I really try, I can really. Fly up, come How are you today, Sally? I'm glad. I'm mad at the whole world. Are you mad at everybody in the whole world? I'm mad at everybody. Are you mad at all the animals and the birds and the fish? How about all the trees and the flowers? I'm mad at them too. I'm mad at everything. Well, are you mad at the sky and the stars? How about all the, well, the ground? Are you mad at the rocks? Are you mad at all the buildings and the cars and the TVs and the surfaces and the roller skates and the bracelets? You didn't mention jump ropes. Are you mad at jump ropes? I'm especially mad at stupid jump ropes. I was just asking. Here, you see, this is for you. Happy Valentine's Day. No, that doesn't sound right. This is for you, we'll see. Happy Valentine's Day. You can do it if you just don't get nervous. This is for you, Lucy. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, you can do this. Lucy! <clears throat> Lucy! This is for you, Lucy. Merry Christmas! I did anything if that little redhead girl sent me a valentine. Maybe she did send me one. Maybe she sent me a valentine and it's in my mailbox right now. I'm afraid to look. If I look and there's nothing in there, I'll be crushed. But if she did send me one, oh, I gotta look. Hello? 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 Nothing happens like an empty mailbox. I've been thinking about why you didn't get any Valentine's Day, brother. I think I finally figured it out. You didn't get any Valentine's because no one sent him any. <laughs> enjoying themselves with their valentine. You know, I sent valentine to everyone I know this valentine's day. And did I get any in return? No, not one. I didn't get a single valentine. Everyone gets valentines for me. Nobody likes me. I get as, as many valentines as a dog. My stomach hurts. <laughs> A 
Oh, Lucy, I'm so depressed. Everything's going wrong, and I don't know what to do. Well, maybe I can help Johnny Brown. I think what you need to do most of all is come right out and admit all the things that are wrong with you. Do you really think that will help, Lucy? Certainly. All right, I'll give it a try. I'm not very handsome or clever, Lucy. I've always been stupid at spelling and numbers. I never been much playing football or baseball or stickball or checkers or marbles or ping pong. I'm usually awful at parties and dances. I stand like a stick or I cough or I laugh or I don't bring a present or I spill the ice cream or I get so depressed that I stand and I scream. Oh, how could there possibly be? As me. Well, that's okay for a start. A starter? Yes, you don't think that mentioning a few superficial feelings is going to do any good to them? But Johnny Brown, you really have to doubt. You're stupid, self centered, and moody. I'm moody. You're terribly dull to be with. Yes, I am. Nobody likes me, not Peter you know, or Sharpie or Linus or Schroeder or Lucy or Lucy or Snoopy or Snoopy. Wait a minute, Snoopy likes me? He only pretends to like me because you feed him. That doesn't count. Or Snoopy. Oh, why was I born just to be a small person? Wait. Not very much of a person. That's certain. And yet there is reason for hope. There's hope. For although you are no good at music like Schroeder, or happy like Snoopy, or lovely like me, you something, I'm beginning to feel better already. You're a true friend, Lucy. A true friend. That would be five cents, please. <laughs> I couldn't decide if I wanted to try fudge marble, chocolate, Rocky Road, Vanilla, or Butter Pecan. I finally said to try Fudge Marble. Then, I had to decide between a sugar cone and a regular cone. So obviously I chose a sugar cone. Then what happened? I got up. I got outside. And I dropped it all on the sidewalk. Don't tell me my life isn't a Shakespearean tragedy! <laughs> Today's my grandfather's birthday. Oh, really? How old is he? 63. It's hard to believe he was once a human being. <laughs> Why is it that I always have my supper in the silver dish and my drinking water in the blue dish? One of these days, I'm going to have my supper in the blue dish and my drinking water in the silver dish. Maybe it's too short not to live it up a little. Shrine, do players make a lot of money? Money? Who cares about money? This is an art, you blockhead. And I'm playing great music. And playing great music is an art. Do you hear me? An art. 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 
Take it from there. You should be ashamed of yourself, wasting a perfectly good day like this. The air is fresh, the trail is clear. Let's get out there and chase us down a big old rabbit. 
Well, uh, you get a feeling she's pretty determined. Might as well give her money's worth. Attaboy, Snoopy. We ought to see lots of game today. <laughs> Space. This can go on for hours. If you're unusually depressed, you may have to change arms. <laughs> Back to the camp in the woods and he was together. And he turned away, he sat in the boat, and he turned to a stick in the air. 
Peter Rabbit did sort of that kind of thing too. So how did people think what they In examining a work such as Peter Rabbit, it is important that the superficial characteristics of this insensibly simple plot should not be allowed to blind the reader from the more substantial fabric of its deeper motivations. In this report, I plan to discuss the sociological implications of family practice so great as to drive an otherwise moral rabbit to perform acts of thievery, which he consciously knew were against the law. I also hope to discuss the personality of Mrs. Griffin in its conflicting role as farmer and humanitarian. Peter Rabbit is established from the start as a benevolent hero, and is it to the evidence of social pressures that is now I'm not really rested in good of sunlight thinking, which is no good at all. I'll get a fresh start tomorrow, and it's not due till Wednesday, so I'll have all of Tuesday, unless something should happen. Why does this always happen? I should be outside playing, getting fresh air and sunshine. I work this under pressure, and there'll be lots of pressure if I wait till tomorrow. I should just start writing now, but if I start writing now, then I'm not really rested. It could upset my thinking, which is no good at all. The name of the man. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, ha! Down came the sap on his head and smash. And Robin fell like a sack full of lead. Crap! And his hair is left and he left him for dead. Ha! Just like rabbits who run a lot, as you can tell from the story of Peter Rabbit, which this report is about. Thank you.